What's good, everybody? It's your boy Johnny back with another video. And today we're doing the unboxing of the Elvis release that came out November 12th. And that release is commemorating the 50th anniversary of 19 Elvis in 1971 at his Nashville sessions. And it's this Elvis back in Nashville. This is the follow up to last year's release, Elvis in Nashville from the 1970 sessions in Nashville. So this is really cool. So as you can see by the photo, I got two different vinyls and a four CD box set. This right here is the irregular retail black vinyl version of this release on 2LP vinyl. So we have this. We're going to go back to this in a second. And I have this. This is a Graceland exclusive. Now, don't hit me below the belt, but this is a Graceland exclusive that appears that has sea blue vinyl. But I will not be opening this on this video, so I do apologize. All my other Graceland exclusives I keep sealed. So I just really don't want to open it. So I do apologize. I opened up the black vinyl version, so I am going to show you guys that. And again, I don't like taking the shrink off the gate folds. I know you can probably on other channels you can go ahead and see the gate fold. But let me just go ahead and show you this one since I'm not going to be opening it. There's the hype sticker. As you can see, it says it's a Graceland exclusive. So here's the front. Here's the back. Here's the track listing. All right. Here you go. Very cool stuff. I gotta say, um, so I have listened to this release already, the four CD box set. This is a very good release, so I'm gonna come back with a like an in-depth review for you guys. So all I gotta say is I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'll give you what I like, maybe a few things I did not like, or a little bit of information about the release. And um, we have this too, the four CD box set, which I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's already open and show you guys the front the back, the book, everything. So let's look at this real quick and then we'll go back to the vinyl. Here we go. Here's the front. There's the hype sticker. So, and, and this is also actually the last time that Elvis would record in Nashville during his lifetime. So, and I forgot about that little piece of information. So I think about 42 masters were Produced for this se for these sessions for these recording sessions in '71, and those would end up being appearing on Elvis sings the Wonderful World of Christmas, Elvis Now, um, the He Touched Me Gospel album, and the um, the Elvis album, also known as the Fool album that came out in 1973, and in some of the masters appeared as singles so of course as we know the concept of this box set uh before going further i'm just going to show one cd they all look the same it just says you know cd one two three and four it looks like this with the rca logo looking like the 70s logo so i'm just going to show one cd so really the concept behind these this album these box sets just like the last one if you don't know already it's basically the way they were recorded in the studio without all the overdubs, with whoever was in the studio, the band, maybe some vocal, some background vocalists, if they were there, they appear on these this release. But if they weren't there, they're not on there, if that makes sense. So, um, so basically how it was live in the studio, and for the most part, it was just Elvis and the band. A few songs on this box set, there was some vocal, um, background vocalists, either male or female. Which I'm assuming was the sweet, sweet inspirations, and maybe JD Sumner and the Stamps. So, so I'm gonna show you every page of this booklet, and really, I just showed you the whole release after this. So, so if you want to look, pause if you like. This stuff is always interesting. I have read this book, and I'll give you my insight about it during my review. Which I'll try to come back pretty soon. But I'm actually going to be doing two other videos right after this. Hopefully. Of a uh, sealed reveal to a Prince release that came out. Actually on November 12th also. And, believe it or not. I, a subscriber of mine told me in the comments of my last video. That there was a Michael Jackson Walmart exclusive release. So I'm going to be showing that. So stay tuned if you want to see that stuff. If you're into all three of these guys. So. 
I just want to make this super long video. That's why I'm trying to talk as I go. It's a new thing I'm going to try. So, see, there's the albums they appeared on, and of course, the wonderful world of Christmas. Good stuff, good pictures. These books are always cool. Uh, here we are, the track listings of all the discs. All right. And okay, there we have the book. Good stuff. All right, let's go back to the vinyl. So I'm just, like, again, I'm gonna show you the regular black retail vinyl. I already have the records out of the sleeve because I already put them in MoFi sleeves, but I will show you the inner sleeves. Okay, here's the front. And there's the hype sticker. Okay, good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the inner sleeves. Get them out. This is the first inner sleeve. Look at that. At least they're not plain white ones or those crappy plastic ones. So I'm glad. Again, this is just like same concept as the one for back in Nashville that came out last year, which was an amazing box set. I never got to review. Um, wish I did, but I didn't, and I don't know if I will, but we never know. All right, now let's show the vinyl. Here's side A. Looks like the 70s RCA Victor. Here is side B. Awesome. Look how it reflects. Pretty sweet. All right. And here is side C. There we go. Side D. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this um, unboxing of the Elvis release back in Nashville from the night covering the 1971 sessions. Remix and remaster by Matt Ross Spang, who does a great, great job on these releases. Um, I mean, he's done the past few releases, I, at least back to 1969. Elvis' performances in Las Vegas, all the complete concerts. Done a great job. Cannot plain so well there you have it people so i'll try to come back to my review hopefully pretty soon got two other videos to do i think hope you all enjoy so stay tuned thank you for watching this quick unboxing and i'll see you all later and goodbye